dear students today i am going to discuss with you certain important points related to grouting this is the second video related to grouting the first one i have already posted and you can get the information from my video channel i suggest you to subscribe to my channel like and share my videos let us go into the details of grouting technique part 2 compaction grouting compaction grouting involves the injection of low slump mortar grout to densify loose granular soils and stabilize subsurface voids or sinkholes compaction grout displaces the soil and become part of the soil it can be used to stabilize the soil underneath a structure. Further, it can be performed as pretreatment before the structure is built. This, the mechanism behind this one is same as that of the compaction. The surrounding soil will be compacted. There are many applications for this technique. It can be used for densification of loose stratum. It can be used for slab jacking below the foundations. It can be used for filling of large area, filling of large area, underground cavities, densification of collapsible soils, seepage control, soil solidification and stabilization, and used for vibration control also. You can refer back to ground improvement techniques by Purushottam Raj. This is a good book related to this. Okay, there are many other books also available uh, related to ground improvement and ground modification. There is a foreign other book also, Manfred R. Hosman, okay, Principles of Ground Modification Techniques. You can see that also. It's a useful one. It has many uh, examples of field applications also. Okay. This is a schematic of combustion grouting. You can see here, soil is weak below a competent backfill soil, loose stratum, okay, and by using heavy machinery, okay, under a footing, grouting is started and it is continued till the bottom of the uh, foundation or as it is required and decided by the engineer in charge okay this is a photograph related to the cross section of the ground where the uh, combustion ground thing was done you can see here the portions where the combustion grouting was done you can see the fissures over there which is filled with uh, this is now an old grouted area you see this is also a schematic shows how it is done okay case extraction step by step and the bulb is formed okay it may not be exactly the round one you can see here this is a irregular shape actually so procedure pre grouting site investigation okay site investigation is the preliminary first and foremost thing which should be done for any geotechnical engineering construction okay investigation includes geological survey and investigation investigation drilling geological survey includes studying of general geology of the area with the help of mapping methods and exploratory drilling to establish fissures faults folds etc all geological formations okay detailed exploration are carried out by drilling boreholes and collecting samples to laboratory tests to determine shear strength, grain size, permeability, etc. These are soil characteristics. Okay, the grout holds pattern. Grouting may be shallow of shallow depth with low pressure or deeper depth with high pressure. Okay. Field dense permeability log is used to decide the zone to be grouted. The type of grout to use, the possible extent of grout penetration under a given pressure. Spacing of grout holes should follow a grid pattern. Radius of penetration is sufficient to cause slight overlapping between adjacent holes. 
Depth of gravity is taken as per the requirements and inclination up to 15 degree can be given. So these are the uh, points related to grout holes pattern. Grout characteristics. Grout should not get settled at the time of pumping. We have seen some portions of this related to this area uh, in the previous uh, presentation. It should be the viscous or fluid at the time of pumping. After pumping the grout should settle. <coughs> Grout must be able to penetrate the voids of the mass to be injected. Grout should be resistant to chemical attack when in place. Grout should be able to develop sufficient shear strength. Grouting plant and equipment. Components. Measuring tank to control the volume of grout injected. Mixer to mix the grout ingredients. Agitator to keep the solid particles in suspension until pumped. Pump to draw the grout from agitator to deliver the pumping line. Last one is control fitting to control the injection rate and pressure so that the hole can be regularly blended with water and thin grout. So these are the components of the plant and equipment. It's a massive equipment. Okay. So this is a typical layout of grouting plant. You can see here different things are given here. Mixing plant and it is grouted. It is pumped to the uh, grout pump and then from there it is injected into the ground okay and water is also injected here this is agitator actually <coughs> okay from mixer it goes to the agitator so agitator will keep it in a fluid state you can see here the uh, functions of different uh, mixers as well as the agitator water is placed first in the mixer Mixture is run at maximum speed before adding the cement. Grout is mixed in batches and all together the mixture should be cleaned thoroughly after the day's work. Okay. And here agitator, it helps to keep the grout in suspension. It does not allow the settlement of grout. Wire mesh is provided at the inlet valve to avoid lumps. Agitator rotates at 100 rpm. Injection method. Selection of grouting method. Soil or rocks of different characteristics should be treated individually. It should be possible to treat short sections of boreholes in any desired sequence and repeat the injections if necessary. Leakage around the borehole should be prevented. Types or methods. You can these points you can refer from ground improvement techniques by Purushottam Raj. Okay. Individual grouting, group grouting, blanket grouting, full depth grouting or circuit grouting, compaction grouting, grouting from bottom. A grout hole is drilled to full plant depth. A self-expanding packer is placed above the lower zone and grout is pumped. Procedure is repeated after the packer is raised and fixed to the next zone. Thus, drill hole is grouted successively upwards. Grouting from the top. The holes are drilled down to the Zim closest to the surface and grouting is carried out. Holes are then cleaned by washing and drilling continues to next zim. Subsequent washing followed by drilling and repeated grouting is done until he, uh, the entire operation is completed. Curtain grouting or skirting. A grout curtain usually consists of a row of vertical drilled holes filled with pressurized grout, a process commonly known as pressure gravity. The holes are drilled in intervals and in such a way that they cross each other creating a curtain. This is mainly used for um, water retaining structures, for the uh, construction of dams, etc. Bridges, etc. Tube emaciated grouting. A liquid grout is injected into the ground using tube emaciated or grouting lances and penetrates into the pores and joints to fill them as completely as possible. It's shooting like one. It, you can trigger it. It will go and penetrate into the ground. Okay, point gravity and jet gravity. The injection of stabilizing fluid into the subsoil or the soil under treatment under high pressure under high velocity, pressure injected line, electrokinetic injection. These are the different methods. <coughs> ground injection measurement and monitoring. The flow rate of the ground during injection should be continuously monitored and plotted against the grout pressure to ascertain the condition below the grout. So these are the points uh, I would 
I wanted to discuss with you in the grouting technique part 2. I suggest you to uh, watch these videos. This may help you in the competitive examinations, gate examination, public service commission examinations, university examination, etc. Okay. You may, if you like, you may subscribe to my channel and share these videos. Thank you very much.